Okshi Gardens in Homestead. And with me right now is my beautiful daughter, Shannon Starr, whom you can follow on Instagram. Today we're going to make vanilla extract, <coughs> which is exactly what it sounds like. You're extracting the vanilla from the vanilla bean, and uh, you do that with alcohol, just like you do in any of your herbal tinctures. Um, it's going to be a better quality uh, vanilla extract than what you're going to buy at the store. Most of that is imitation. And if you get the real thing, you pay a lot of money for it. This is going to last for a long time. Um, what we do, any one of the bottles? My bottle. <laughs> So what you do is you have a bottle. Now, the recipe is for a liter. This is not quite a liter. So uh, in fact, it's about a cup or so short of being a liter. So what we're going to do is we're going to take five of the vanilla beans. We're going to split them in half. We'll put them inside the bottle, fill it up with vodka. And uh, you don't want a cheap vodka but you don't want an expensive vodka you want a vodka that you would drink and we're not going to try it because we talked about that and decided that we didn't want to do an I Love Lucy <laughs> commercial the vitamin medges whatever it is <laughs> no I haven't had any <laughs> but um, so we're gonna make the vanilla extract and to show you how easy it is we're gonna do it on camera uh, one of the nice this one, you use this one, and then you just split them down the center. And I'm going to separate it. Now it's not going to come apart, but by separating I mean open up. Now, you could go ahead and scrape out the vanilla beans, but there's no sense in doing that because you're going to be shaking this on a regular basis while you're waiting for it to extract the vanilla. And I wish we had smell of vision or whatever because this smells so good. It's so good. Yummy. Yummy. What, baby? Yes. <laughs> So you see, it goes really quick. Doesn't take long at all. That's it. That's the hardest part of making this. Now we will fill it with. I'm going to wash my hands because I've got vanilla all over. Yeah, it's in the middle. You will fill your bottle with vodka. You're not going to fill it all the way to the top because you want to be able to shake it, and to shake it, you need some room for the mixture to flow. So, to about right here is where. I don't know if it's going to make it or not. That's good. Then I'm going to shake it up. And then you can see, of course I don't think you can, but the vanilla is starting to dislodge from the thing, from the pod. Now, about every three or four days you want to go into your cabinet and just sit it in your pantry. 
every three or four days you want to go in and you want to shake it up. And you want to leave this in here at the very least three weeks. At the very least. But the longer you leave it, the more the extract is going to be. So ideal would be to leave this for three months to cure. But um, at the very, like I said, the very least three months, three weeks. But if you could leave it for three months, that would be awesome. Then once you start using it, once it gets down to about right here, just add another vanilla bean and fill it back up with vodka. Leave the ones that you have in there. These can stay in here for about a year. And you say, oh, that's a lot of vanilla. You know, you'll never use that. Yes, I will. I go through a lot of vanilla. I make my own almond milk, as you've seen me do, and I use the vanilla in that. Plus, I do a lot of cooking and a lot of baking, and I use vanilla. <laughs> so, this is not a lot of vanilla. But, so that's it. That's how simple it is. And as the vanilla gets out into this, it's going to turn the color that you're used to seeing with vanilla extract. And um, you'll have a really good vanilla extract. Better than you buy in the store. So I hope that everybody tries to make it. You think you can make it? I think I can remember that. It's easy enough. It is. Easy enough. I mean, it's just the vanilla beans and the vodka. Put it in a jar. The only thing you have to remember is slice them. I mean, how hard is that? <laughs> so. And remembering that you can continue using it, too. Yes. You can continue using it. And now, I actually have heard people say that they've used theirs for two to three years. Um, I don't know. I'm not saying you can. I'm not saying you can't. <laughs> I'm just telling you what I've, I know for myself. I know that it will last for at least a year, the vanilla beans that are in there. And um, all you have to do when it gets down is add one and fill it up. And you can do that for a year. So there you have it. Thank you for joining us. Hope to see you again. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And subscribe. There you go. And comments down below. Comments down below. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Mm-hmm. Are you